Okay, so I just uh, brought up the links for Argo, and oh, we're going to do a little research live on stream. Oh, crap, I think I just snapped off the... Hold on. This is a uh, $15 or $7 or... How did I break this off? Oh, great. This is very annoying. I actually have to do this because... How did this break off? That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these things are very sensitive. So, anyway, I got this off of, uh, I don't know. I don't want to keep saying the whole name of the site, but this site. Where does it call, where does it call this the XYZ site? I'm getting tired of saying the whole freaking thing. All right, so here's a uh, Metis, uh, and then I just saw that this there's a new product called Repath, so I added that to the uh, queue. Oh, uh, nice! It launches on March 20th. Perfect. So by the time I get around this project, hopefully we'll see something. Oh, see, this is the thing. There's no KYC. Obviously, I can't renounce yet because it's not launched. So all right, well we'll, we'll see if uh, they wind up rugging rug pulling. Okay, so right off the bat, this looks like a pretty powerful project. I believe it's the first Tomb Fork on the Metis blockchain, right? So it's like a brand new thing. I know it got covered pretty heavily on mainstream news channel. So like this is a pretty good thing. <laughs> Crap, I choked on the little saliva here. I might have to do my, uh, hold my breath <clears throat> for 10 seconds, three times. If I start getting hiccups. So, actually, maybe I have to eat some cereal, too. All right. Crap. So, what, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah. So, it looks like a pretty stable project. It's above peg, whatever this Tethys thing is. I'm, not, I'm actually not even going to bother looking it up. So, I know it's not a stable coin. It's just by looking at the prices and the pegs. So, I know there's that. Uh, but it's got a pretty healthy TVL at $1.16 million. And again, if this is uh, the first Tomb Fork on Metis, then these guys have first mover first mover alpha male advantage. Like, they they would be the alpha male of, you know, Metis blockchain for Tomb Forks. Because they're the first, right? Just like Sphere Finance is the first on Polygon that I'm aware of. So, you know, you have your tokens, right? You have Argo, right? The base peg token. It's a 1.76 above peg. Pretty low amount of shares. You got Trident, you know, which is their share price. Looks very healthy. And, of course, you have the bonds, which are called ores, which, you know, don't really do anything. Now, I've been trying to look this up, and I cannot find... I cannot find contracts and wallets... Uh, bridging the Metis. Um, yeah, so the base token for Metis blockchain is called Metis, right? That's what I thought. So I don't even know what this Tethys thing is. Maybe that, maybe that might be important. But I'm too lazy to really just do the research on it. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't find the because uh, what I'm looking for is the boardroom, and it just doesn't tell me anything. Oh wait, I think this is it. Oh well, the boardroom's right here. Oh okay, yeah. Cause I have to. We have to. We have to manually. Well, I have to manually calculate if it's using smart APR system. So, boardroom is printing a little too much as usual, right? Four percent, slightly less, right? We had four percent to three percent, but this is still just too much. But even after five hundred k, it's still expanding at three percent. This is just too much. This is just too much. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. Let me set this to, well, this is a new project, right? So I've already set it to one hour. All right, so with that being said, let's see if we could, uh, okay, so now that we know the expansion period, okay, so right off the bat, I'm, think, I'm thinking they might be using Smart APR system. Most of the shares are also staked, okay. Very good, 46,411, so they start with a very small supply. That's another good sign. All right, lay it on me. 16% a day. That is a lot of effing money. Which makes sense because the share price on the home page is like ridiculous right now. Uh, okay. Oh, they have no auto compounder, but it was in their documents page. They go come soon. So maybe they're doing their own little uh, thingy. Wait, hold on. What was the APR? 
5,840. So it's slightly above this, but we got a lot of money in in here. Now, the only thing I don't actually like about this project is the like, color scheme is really off, so it's a little hard to see something sometimes. Okay, higher APR. However, the TVL is much, much less at 186.2K. So if I doubled this, this would be 360, 372, 330, 300 and no. Three hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars, which will have the APR. Three hundred seventy-two, three seventy-two. Yeah, this is using the smart APR system in a much better way. So unlike Vinyl Finance from the last project, yeah, this will go down to ten percent. So yeah, most of the rewards are overweighted correctly to the base pay token. So that's very good. I mean, shit, maybe I would. Because supposedly Metis is supposed to be, like, very fast and also very cheap. But every clown claims that. But on the other hand, maybe you would be willing to try something like this. This is 16 to 17 uh, to 18% daily APR, right? Hmm, excuse me. Just be aware that the share price is very high. It's way above peg. And we know from the documentations page, which I just closed out, uh, it's expanding at 4% uh, 4 per epoch. So every six hours, this clown number, 46,411, goes up by 4%. So to me, that's just too much. But maybe you guys want to try to arb, uh, farm it and arbitrage it and then you know buy the dip or whatever it is you, know, you guys and gals want to do. So even though this looks very tempting, I'm just going to stick to my original plan. Just keep slowly every day just accumulating more and more crypto, but I want to go into safe positions. So right now, to me, safe is Titano forks, right? Specifically Libero in my case, because that's basically Titano now, with but much cheaper. So by, again, like I mentioned last video, it's eventually going to just do what Titano does. Because Libero has been out for a while. I didn't actually mention this in the last video because you know, I want to quickly end that video. But what liberal liberal has already had like its gigantic consolidation and dump period and it's been like that for a month now it's just starting to go back up right that's the perfect time to get in right before it launches straight to the all-time new highs and now that i basically have tweeted out that the big markets are that crypto is so fully manipulated that it should follow pretty much what the stock markets are doing so it'll go up and down with the stock markets until the debt market implodes so the real play is to buy and hold and then farm that DeFi yield and then also do it in a manner in a safe, relatively safe and stable project, right? Tomb forks are not safe and stable. They are very volatile, right? In fact, they go all the way down and stay down, right? Until they start doing what I've been recommending, right? Smart APR system, no peg, implemented tax system, right? Until that happens, you know, you're just going to have like dying tomb forks that are just going to struggle. Right, and then in my case, I just keep pulling out income until like the project dies, literally. So, with that being said, uh, I already mentioned uh, what I thought about this project, right? Just uh, all the danger signs you got to watch out for. Uh, but again, this looks like a full, fairly legitimate project. They have a full audit, KYC, and it's renounced. Uh, yeah, but with that being said. It could still be a rug pull, especially because it's so new. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so here is, I mean, again, there's just not much info to go. It's just too new, but going up a lot. It's already, yeah, it's already on its way down, right? You know, it's going to go down lower probably. But, I mean, still a very good APR. And here are the shares, which are much more stable-ish, I guess. But, of course, once this thing loses peg, this, wait, is this correct? Oh, great. Uh, what the hell is this Tethys thing, man? Great, because they switched the prices around. No wonder I'm getting confused. Oh, great. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? Invert pair. There we go. I had to use the invert pair from the upper right corner. All right, so they, they, they screwed this. So they screwed up the chart. Great. All right, so this is the real 
chart. Okay, so it is on its way down. Yeah, so once this thing loses peg, and probably will at some point, right? Or maybe not. I mean, I don't know what this Tethys thing is. So maybe it's like some super duper magical like tribal coin, right? That'll grant you like 50 wishes, making Santa Claus jealous. Or the, what was the other one? The Aladdin genie guy too, like a magic genie. So, so, barring something like that, yeah, I mean, I'm expecting this to go below peg. Once that happens, yeah, the price of the shares isn't going to tank. Like you, at this point, you know, you should probably be familiar with that already. So, well, that being said, you know, it's still got a ways to go. So maybe you want to farm that sweet uh, 16%, or you know, you want to go in the share, which is, I think, just way too crazy. You can earn yourself a little bit more than 21%, right? But, um, but yeah, just watch out for those giant price drops. And again, not much to say, right? I mean, I mean, the uh, peg token looks kind of okay, but I mean, I kind of already know from experience that it's just going to keep going down, especially at four percent expansion. That's still too much. You need, you need it. Even paper is sometimes under pressure at two percent right now. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, look at Fox and Fox shares. I still can't believe people still haven't figured this out. Everyone keeps making these damn tomb forks. They still can't figure it out. It, it, it's it, it's a it's, it's a little it, it sucks right because I really want to see these tomb forks succeed so that my current tomb fork positions you know that are on yield wolf will you know improve but the problem is everyone has to keep renouncing contracts so they can't change anything and it's just like I don't know but they don't renounce the boardroom right so can't they just change the boardroom so it'll print less tokens eventually and then just reassign the pool reward pools of the base peg tokens. So you can get back above peg. Uh, but that's the thing. We need to find a pro but that, again, that's why I'm on printer finance. I'm actually gonna I've actually I actually want to keep upping my bang in printer finance, but Libro is taking off too quickly. So I not, it's now or never for me. So sometime tonight I'll you know just just I'll just buy whatever Libro I can get my hands on. It's gonna suck because by the time I, I can put a total of a thousand dollars over I guess eight, nine days or whatever. Actually, it'll be longer than that because my phantom income's going down because tomb forks keep screwing up. Uh, ish. I mean, they're still hanging in there. Uh, well, you know, whatever. I just grab whatever I can get. All right. All right. So check out uh, our. I almost call this vinyl finance because these projects are pretty much all the same. They just look different. But yeah, check out Argo Finance. The first, I assume it's the alpha male dog of thingy Menace Blockchain. All right, and I'll also give it an opportunity to actually try out the new Menace blockchain that you know we all keep hearing about. I don't really care personally because I need I need a more compelling reason, all right? So and on top of that, you know bills are coming due. I got my uh, credit card bill, so you know I got to come up basically another two thousand dollars, which I should be able to do. And I'm just trying to figure out the optimal way to do it, so you know I pull out as little money as I need to and maximize the amount of compounding that I'm doing. Right, because that's how ultimately you get rich. And again, I just really wish I didn't screw it. Metaverse up, screw up with Metaverse Pro. But Metaverse Pro Congra is doing really well. It's at like twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars now. It's only it's only gonna go much higher. So you know, thank God, thank God. You know, in fact, Congra fine. Uh, I'm too lazy to go into my own Twitter to take a look. Um, I don't know. Are they paying out? Are they paying out dividends yet? I don't understand. How has this Curve Finance account got so few followers? Unless it's a different kind of curve. There's Oesia. Uh, not a lot of followers, but he probably doesn't have. I mean, he's usually busy. Uh, okay. Good, uh, it's on uh, the probability of everything they help bring a related curve. They're all we conducted. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Christ, the down members. Can I bribe interface? Okay, so they're still okay, so they're still building stuff. All right, fine, whatever. I want my money back, but then if they're paying out dividends, which they eventually will do, I don't know if I'll keep it. I don't know. Well, whatever, I'll figure it out. Yeah, this site, uh, I don't know. I mean, they could kind of use a better background, but I mean, I guess if you're doing this on the cheap, then I guess it doesn't really matter, right? 
One, all right, so this is a pretty good selling point, 1.16 million TVL. So I'll write that down. Hopefully I'll remember. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, today's videos are actually pretty short, but that's because I kind of want to just get these over with, and I don't really have much to ramble on. On top of that, I also did a live stream, uh, what is it now, Wednesday, two days ago? Wow, it's been two days ago already. Well, you know, well, I mean, not much to say, right? Um, oh, yeah, because I have to exercise, too. Right? I, need a, I need to make sure I get my exercise in. So next one will be my rabbit farm. And then after that, I don't know if I'll do ring fi. I think I'll save ring fi for either tomorrow or Sunday. I think, I think three videos is good enough. Plus, I want to give ring fi a little more time to make, because I don't know, because I got screwed on the pink sale for ring financial. So, you know, I'll just, so yeah, I, I just abandoned it afterwards. So, I don't know, it probably needs a little more time to like correct if it hasn't already started correcting. So, yeah, so we'll do that. So, next video will be myrabbit.farm, right? Which is, do I have to hit the back button? Uh, yeah, let me see. Oh, that's funny. Nuggets Finance, and they stole the K, uh, KFC logo. Uh, my rabbit. There we go. Yeah, I do like the, well, that's an angry looking rabbit. Yeah. Yeah, they launched five days ago. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. Good old Phantom. And then, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right, see you next video. Like, subscribe, share. <clears throat> Help grow the channel. Thank you to all the new people who are subscribing, by the way. We are blowing up like crazy, but we're just getting started. And that's all thanks to you. So, you know, let's get this channel like 2K subs or 10,000 or a million or whatever it takes. But, yeah, as long as long as what the fork keeps coming out with all these new projects, which they obviously will, because I actually like this site better than Tomb Fork Watch. I don't know. Does Tomb Fork Watch even have a website? Because, ugh, great, lovely. Because Tomb Fork Watch should... Uh, man, how do I... Let me see. Here we go. Oh, what the fork XYZ is Tomb Fork Watch. Oh, duh. <laughs> and they have a Discord too. I, I don't need. I mean, their website's good enough. Oh, well. Well, let's see. There you go. Learn something new. Because I was about to say, you know, XYZ is like way better than Tomb Fork Watch. And then I realized, and then, and then it just literally says, oh, they're the same guy. Yeah, so there's a, there's a bit of a, so that is kind of a bit of a uh, branding thing, because first they're stealing the trademark goodwill of the actual What the Fork website, which is a cooking site, apparently, but it looks like they haven't gotten a cease and desist yet. But I really would just prefer they just call themselves tombforkwatch.com or something, but, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess they really want to, like, farm the, the, that free SEO and goodwill. You really shouldn't do that, because that's actually a trademark violation and copyright infringement, uh, quite possibly, too. So, but, you know, whatever. Some companies don't really care. They're generally more liberal-minded, I guess you could say. Yeah. And, of course, since I've stopped making my video game, you know, I'm very familiar now with trademark issues. So, I don't know. Yeah, well, I guess we'll look in. I guess I, I mean, I might wind up wind up going back into something like that. Like once I have like tens of millions of dollars, preferably hundreds of millions of dollars, then I could spend ten, twenty million dollars, make a movie or a TV show, like a, a TV show type of thing, get the marketing streaming, and then just just start and launch a, like an entertainment company, you know. So, because I'm really good at making money and analyzing things. That's what I'm really good at, and I'm also good at doing pretty much anything else. But the problem is. There's only a few things I can do at a time, so what what should I really be doing, right? So, and I've noticed that the more stuff I do, the stronger Satan gets, and you know God does not want that, and I don't want that. So, it's a it's a tough balancing act. It's a tough balancing act because I would like to get back into acting someday. I I never left lost my love for that stuff, but there's just too much going on. So, you know, one thing at a time. Like things are going really well for all things considered for me so it's like you know hey why you know no need to rush things all right i've rambled on long enough see you next video the uh my rabbit who framed roger rabbit dot farm thing yeah so that's a fun uh, maybe i should watch that cartooning i used to love that as a kid